the television capital of the world. It's time to go reeling through the greatest television shows of all time on Couch Potatoes. Well, hi, I'm Joe Alasky at Great Scott. It's my next door neighbor and favorite host, Mark Summers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to Cash Potatoes, the game focusing on the best of television, both past and present. You never know what show might pop up back there on our TV set, but before we find out, let's meet our sets of Couch Potatoes starting to my left. They call themselves the Petries. I would like all of you to meet Bill. Hello. Jean. Hi. And the famous Tom down there right now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, usually when we have a group sitting here on the couch, they all do something together. So what do you all do together? Well, Tom and I play softball together. Uh -huh. And Jean and I watch television together. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> Would it ever be possible for you and Jean to play softball together and Tom and Bill to to watch TV together? Is that I think it would make them an interesting combination. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> and uh, now my favorite show of all time, I would have to say, of, of classic sitcoms would be uh, the Dick Van Dyke show. Is, is there any symbolism to the Petri's name here? Well, uh, my middle name is Rosebud. Oh, <laughs> I don't believe a word. <laughs> Gene does an amazing Mary Tyler Moore impression, and Tom trips over Ottomans. So. Gene, <laughs> do, do your Mary Tyler Moore impression. Okay. Oh, Rob! Oh, that's good, <laughs> yeah. Team over here, we like to say hello to. They've won six thousand dollars. Let's meet the Mavericks one more time. <laughs> say hello to Kirk, Steve, and Tony down there. Six grand, and you guys did it uh, just like that. You were really quick yesterday. How did you all get to know each other uh, and and realize that you knew a lot about TV at the same time? Uh, well, for about five years, we've all worked as tour guides at a major motion picture studio. So you had that Angeles. bond, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bond. <laughs> all right, well, let's talk about the rules here on Couch Potatoes for you and for you as well. We're going to ask you anything and everything about television from daytime, prime time, even commercial time. And anytime there's something on the tube, you can bet a couch potato will be there. Now, each round begins with a tune-in question, and the team that answers correctly earns 25 rating points and control for the spin-off questions that follow. Whichever team has the most rating points at the end of the game will win $1,000 and go on to play our Channel Roulette bonus game for $5,000. Let's get started. It's a tune-in question for round one. Everybody plays. Good luck to both teams. Milano, Toll House, or Oreo? Which of these cute cookies co-stars... Yes, Tony. Toll House. Is incorrect. That means you folks uh, get it over here. It was Milano, Alyssa Milano on uh, Who's the Boss? That is the answer we were going for. No uh, points are awarded, but you've earned control for this round's spin-off questions on the subject of Who's the Boss? And there it is over there. Bill, Gene, Tom, 25 points your way if you answer this correctly. As a single dad, Tony has gone from shooting baskets with Sam to checking out a new boyfriend. But he can still do those He-Man things with Angela's son. What's his name? Yes, Gene. Tony. Tony is incorrect. Can you take it over here? Anybody? Yes, Kirk. Danny. No. Well, are we accepting that? Yes, Danny Pintaro. Yes. Danny Pintaro is right. He plays the character of Jonathan, but you are right. 25 rating points for your side of the board. And Steve, Tony, you're eligible for this next question. Tony didn't always wash dis dishes for a living. Before getting his job with the Bowers, he was a professional athlete in what sport? Yes, Steve. Boxing. Incorrect. Can you take it over here? Anybody? Yes, Bill. Baseball? Baseball is right. He played for the San Luis Cardinals. Now tell me, Bill, did you really know or was it a, a great guess? It was a great guess. It was a great guess. <laughs> okay. You've tied the score. And who's eligible for this last question? Well, Tom, you are, and you can uh, get a good lead here. Angela's mom recently became a college graduate, but you don't have to call her Mrs. Robinson. What's her first name? Time's up. Can you take it over here? Tony. Mona. Mona is right. Mona is right. And that's uh, played by Catherine Hellman, who was also on the TV show itself. $50 over here for the Mavericks, $25 for the Petries. Close game. Let's move over to our next uh, tune-in question. And here we go. Everybody plays. Great Anipasto, Great Caesar Salad, or Great Caesar's Ghost? Which of these did editor Perry White, and that goes to Kirk. 
Great Caesar's Ghost. Great Caesar's Ghost. Right. 25 additional points added to your side of the board. And uh, we're going to move it into some, some spin-off questions here on a great series called Superman. And we all grew up on the Superman series, and we have a... Uh, Mr. Oh. 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 Mr. I thought Miss Lane would be here. It's Jack Larson, the one and only Jimmy Orson, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Oh. How you doing, Jack? Nice to see you. I'm doing fine. But I thought... Lois Lane was going to be here. I gave her a map. Yeah, I haven't seen her. But you know, she'd get lost trying to type a letter. <laughs> I think you're right. Jeepers, I hope she's okay. Uh, see, I hate to tell you this, but this is the 80s. I don't think anybody says Jeepers anymore, you know? Oh? Yeah, really. That's, uh, not well, then, I meant to say Radical. Oh, Radical. Oh, ra oh. Once I've told you a hundred times, there is no such place as Metropolis. <laughs> Jeepers, I, uh, I mean radical. Radical's more of the 80s, that's right. Well, we have the original uh, Miss uh, Lois Lane, Noel Neal is here, and Jimmy Olsen, Jack Larson. And it's about time maybe to ask some questions, and who would know more about the Man of Steel than you two? Who? <laughs> okay. Now, Jimmy, you've known me many, many years. Why don't you call me by my first name? Okay, Lois. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, Noel. <laughs> um, Clark and I always got along with Mr. White, Perry. But occasionally he got very angry with Jimmy when he called him a certain name. What is it? Yes, Kurt. Chief. Chief is right. Don't call him Chief. <laughs> Another 25 rating points added to this side of the board. And that means that Steve and Tony are eligible for this next question. Jack, do you have one? Yeah, I've got one. Um, what was the name of the newspaper we worked at? Yes, Steve. The Daily Planet. Of course. That was 25 ready points added over here to the Mavericks. They have another 25. And Noel, do you have one last question for Tony? That was too easy. I thought so. much too easy. Well, let's see. Jeepers. Loves that word, Jeepers. Okay, here's one. During the show's opening, the announcer would always say Superman being able to leap over tall buildings and how powerful he was. But what is it that Superman always fights a never-ending battle for? Tony? Truth, justice, and the American way. Yeah. 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 150 ready points over here for the Fabrics. 25 over here for the Petries. And boy, I don't know where to start. Yeah, first of all, I never thought I'd actually get to meet the two of you. I grew up watching your show, as I'm sure just about everybody here in this audience <laughs> did. You. Yeah. And Jack? I know that you've stopped acting, but you're doing so many great things as a writer. Yes, I write. I've got um, uh, two ballets, the Joffrey Ballet Dances to my text. I wrote the libretto, libretto of an opera for uh, the Metropolitan Opera, Lord Byron, with the music of Virgil Thompson. It was broadcast live from Lincoln Center, and I produce films. I'm one of the producers of Bright Lights, Big City, Mike's Murder with Deborah Winger. I work with the director, James Bridges. Good I'm grief. going to produce another <laughs> film uh, next year. That's terrific. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, isn't that amazing? Uh, Noel, how about yourself? I'm a couch potato. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I have a favorite episode. What? Do you have a favorite episode of Superman? Uh, probably the one where I dreamt I was going to marry him. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and yeah. Jack, how about you? Yeah, I, I got to uh, pretend I was uh, Humphrey Bogart, wear a trench coat in uh, semi-private eye. <laughs> I remember that one. But right now, yes, sir. Professor Pepperwinkle uh -huh. is waiting for us. He's going to show us his new invention. What's that? How to change Perrier into club soda. Oh, <laughs> okay. Grab the box, Mr. Jack Larson. No so Al Rio. Hey. Lewis Lane. And what's going to happen? Well, we're going to come back into round three here of Couch and Potatoes, where the uh, point value is double, and let's see if there's a lead change. Who knows? Go ahead, Jack. All right, come down and say hello to these folks. Yes, yes, Professor Pepperwinkle, a wonderful character. And Noel Neal and Jack Larson, Jimmy Olsen and Lo uh, Miss Lane. And let's not forget John Hamilton, who played crusty, adorable old Perry White, if I may indulge myself. <clears throat> Olsen, if I've told you once, I've told you a million times. Don't call me cheap. <laughs> Great Caesar's roast. Uh, ghost. We'll be right back. <laughs> Excuse me, folks.
number three, where we double the stakes to 50 rating points for each correct answer. You're a little behind here, Petries, but there's lots of time to catch up, and let's do that right now. Everybody, hands on buzzers. Here's your tune-in question. Hawaii Five-0, 30-something, or 2020? Which of these TV shows corresponds to the following TV listings? As the big 4-0 approaches... <laughs> Yes, Tony. 2020. Is incorrect. The answer is 30-something. As the big 4-0 approaches, Hope and Michael wonder if they will change the show's name. No points awarded one more time, but control goes over here for the Petries. And this spin-off round is on TV listings. And let's take a look at this next question worth 50 points. Tonight, Aaron, Mary Ellen, and Jim Bob spend the entire episode trying to say goodnight to one another before the sun comes up. Name the show. Yes, Gene. The Walton. The Walton. Yeah. Adding 50 rating points. Good night, Bill. Good night, Gene. Good night, Tom. Good night, Tony. Good night, Steve. Yes. Okay, Bill, Tom, Carol quits her job for the ninth time this season, leaving Jerry and Bob to make the coffee themselves. What show is that on? Yes, Bill. The Bob Newhart Show. Bob Newhart is the answer. We're going to add another 50 rating points, 25 away from the lead, and Tom, on this question, you can take the lead. Buffy and Jody accidentally padlock the refrigerator, sending Mr. French into a gastronomic panic. What show is that? Gotta be Family Affair. Got a buzz in there for you. Yes? Gotta be Family Affair. Family Affair is the answer. And you've taken the lead on that one. All right, you now have a $25 lead over the Mavericks. And once again, guys, you can jump in. Everybody can jump in as we move to our fourth tune-in question. Captain Binghamton, Chief Ironside, or Roseanne Barr? On TV, who is nicknamed Old Lead Bottom? Yes, Kirk. Captain Binghamton. That's right, from Mikhail's Navy. 